There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, the machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. You miss court intrigue? When were you at court? Oh, well, never directly, of course. An elven apostate is rarely invited to speak with empresses and kings. But from the Fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Gaspar should be a steadfast ally, especially after delivering him both Selene and Briala. I hope you know that I didn't turn over Briala lightly. If I'd had another option... What? Why would I disapprove of... Because we're both elves. I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Who do you have much in common with? Who are your people? A good question. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the elves of Orlais, Briala did what she could. She was an admirable woman, even if her gambit failed. Even if we couldn't help Briala, I hope we can make life better for Elysian Elves. Stop Corypheus. That will do for a start. It speaks well of you to feel for the oppressed. Help them for that. Know them for what they are, instead of just seeing a pair of pointed ears. <laughs> Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. An Empress dead, her replacement in your pocket. A charming fellow, though still a bit of a thug. All this dancing, politics, and murder ah, makes me a bit homesick. That's something you'd like to do more often, then. Watch as you twist an entire empire around your little finger. Yes, please. Of course, that leaves only to Winter, and it wouldn't work as well there. No? Why not? Our dances are so much more intense. If an evening lacks a murder, we sniff and call it a ball. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. It tasted of despair. It's fascinating. I need to talk to you. You could at least bring me wine. It loosens the tongue, so to speak. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers? Perish the thought. But we could find Cassandra and pretend we're talking about her. It would drive her mad. Inquisitor. Good, good. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What? Is that why we're here? I said I wanted to do this myself. I don't want to be indebted to anyone, least of all you. I apologize, but that won't be possible. Do forgive me, Inquisitor. But when I heard of your association with Monsieur Pallas, I could not resist. It's not coin I seek for the amulet, but influence. Influence you possess, but which the young man does not. Provided, of course, you desire the amulet for your friend. You refuse to sell Dorian his amulet just to get me here. Mission accomplished. I am not attempting to manipulate you, my lord. I only wish equitable recompense. The League de Celestine is an organization of wealthy noblemen in Orlais. I would join, but I lack the lineage. If someone like you applied pressure, they would admit me. That would be worth the return of the amulet. What do you think, Dorian? Leave the man be. I got myself into this. I should get myself out of it. Perhaps you should accept your friend's help, monsieur. Kafas, I know what you think. And he's not my friend. He's... Never 
mind what he is. As you desire. Even so, that is a price. I shall accept no other. Perhaps you haven't heard the news from the Winter Palace or the part I played there. Well, yes, but... I didn't realize an Orlesian merchant could be so blasé about offending the Imperial Throne of Orlay. Forgive me, Your Worship. If it is your desire, I will have the amulet delivered to Skyhold immediately. Please, just think of me kindly. I meant no offense. Hmm. I'd feel badly for the fellow if he wasn't a toad. Here it is. Now I'm indebted to you. I never wanted this, I told you. Why should there be a debt? After all, I only had to glare at the man. Of course you did. The Inquisitor snaps his fingers and people tremble. Now you're just being difficult. Someone intelligent would cozy up to the Inquisitor if they could. It'd be foolish not to. He can open doors, get you whatever you want, shower you with gifts and power. That's what they'll say. I'm the Magister who's using you. Is that all? Go ahead and use me, Dorian. Or are you all talk? <laughs> oh, you are glorious. <laughs> I... I'm apparently an incredible ass at accepting gifts. I apologize and thank you. I'm going to stop before I say something syrupy, but I won't forget this, and I will repay you. Count on it. It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We have the military might of Orlais behind us. Emperor Gaspard will send support on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlais' support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. We've beaten their god twice over. Corypheus must be livid. Where is he now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? 
A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but... Only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not... Resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon 